Hello guys, my name is Polina, and today we are talking about standard remarketing in Universal Analytics account. We're going to talk what is standard remarketing, what is remarketing audiences, how to create them in these uh, accounts um, like Universal Analytics, and we're going to talk about how to use it later to optimize your website, how to use it later uh, in your ads campaign to get more conversions and to get more um return on investment so let's start from what is remarketing audiences first of all it's a list of cookies or mobile advertising ids that represents a group of users a group of um, clients a group of people that interacted with your website entered made some conversions or um just um just entered and bounced back and uh, by creating this kind of remarketing audience you are able to re-engage with them because of their likelihood to convert to make some re reasonable action for you and uh, today we're going to talk how to create it uh, so let's start first of all what you should do is to go to the admin section and to enable data collection in the account uh, it locates in the admin section and then you're going to the property column it's the second column uh, in the admin uh, tab and then you're going to the tracking info and to data collection if you just created this account or you uh, haven't been used it for a while, uh, these options are uh, by default uh, is uh, turned off. So you need to turn it on like remarketing and advertising reporting features. So by enabling this, you are giving account to the opportunity to start collecting data for remarketing purposes. So after you turned it on, you need to scroll down and then click save after data collection has been enabled we are able to go to create our first remarketing audience inside this account and uh, it's in the same column of the property uh, you are just scrolling down and you're going to have here audience definitions. You click here and then you click on audiences. What's more important before you're going to create audiences like under some conditions, if they made a goal or they fired some action, um, you need to create like the general um, general standard remarketing audiences for all users that will be firing every time somebody is entering your website. So here you can see that uh, your first audience is already almost predefined. So you have your view. It's um, the account of analytics. It's the view of in this account. Then you click next. And then you can see that uh, the system will create your first audience as all users for you. Then you click next. And then you have here audience destinations. So uh, here you have the opportunity to choose the destinations uh, where you'd like to publish your audiences. So, for example, if you'd like to use this uh, remarketing audiences later in uh, Google Ads, you would need to enable Google Ads account. If you'd like to just to use uh, in inside analytics account and analyze it later only here, you're going to use uh, you're going to add destination only of analytics account. So, for example, right now we haven't created with you guys uh, ads account so I have only my analytics but remember if you need to use it for optimization of your ads campaign you need to enable it for sure um, then uh, after you chose their destination you are gonna click enable and as soon as it's enabled, you have created your first remarketing audiences. It's a standard market without any condition. And it's for all users uh, who have who can enter your website. So since today, since they created, we created it right now. Uh, it's going to collect information about all users on your website. And then if you want to create new audience, with some conditions, you're going to click on this red button plus new audience. And here you're going to click, for example, create new, but you can have, uh, you can use some recommended audiences here, like new users, returning users, users who completed a go conversion, users uh, who completed a transaction. But for example, I want to create some custom audiences, uh, so I will create new. 
And here you're going to get to the audience builder. It's like a configurator where you can specify what exactly conditions you want uh, you want these users to meet. So for example, you would like to have only uh, people who are in their uh, in range of 18, 24 years old or 24, 34, and that's it. You would like only female users and you would like, um, I don't know, maybe you would like to use them on the Chrome browser. Yeah. So for example, it depends on your, um, it depends on your uh, conditions. It depends on your desires, what you want to get from this, uh, from this remarketing audience. So for example, on the right uh, part of this builder, you can see what filters you are uh, going to use to this remarketing audience. So it's uh, age from 18 to, uh, to 34. It's going to be only female gender and it's going to, and they're going to use only Chrome browser. Yeah. So for example, like this, but also you can use, uh, you can remove it easily, but you can use for uh, some conditions like, uh, you would like them to um to fire some goal and as soon as they for example hit some goal they're going to be added to this remarketing audience so for example in the previous videos we created with you some goals so let's let's see if i'm going to find it here yeah so for example you would like to uh, have people who added some um, products to the cart and you want to re-engage with people who added to the cart but for example not completed a transaction so you're going to use add to cart click procession more than zero so at least one time at least one time they added something to the cart and you're going to re-engage with these people who were interested in your products so it's really really specified audience and uh, re-engaging with this kind of people it's going to give you probably more profit than just re-engaging with people who entered your website and bounced back uh, so for example i will have this yeah so at to cart adders for example i will name it like this you can see on the right that users over the last seven days is only one because it was me i'm the only one who's using my website um so analytics already on the basis of your data can say um, what is the approximate uh, amount of people who uh, meet this um conditions membership duration means that people who are at their um the product today in 31 days they're going to be removed from this membership but you can for example make it more uh, from one up up to 540 540 and then you can see eligibility where exactly you can use this kind of remarketing so you can use it for google ads display for uh, analytics for salesforce marketing cloud and so on after you define your audience you can click next and you can choose the destination remember if you want to use it for google ads you would need to enable google ads here as well and then you can click publish as soon as you have your audiences from the day that you created this audience, they're going to collect or uh, analytics will collect this data for you. And you can see this data later here in audiences in overview. In overview or, for example, in the audiences here. As soon as you're going to enable uh, uh, after 24 hours, it's going to appear there yeah so you're gonna have it here some audiences that you create or you're gonna find some data in audience definitions exactly where you created this audience yeah so it's gonna be here and then you are gonna be able to um, import uh, this audience to ads account and to see if you can use this audience to optimize your uh, advertising campaigns so I hope guys it was pretty much clear for you how to create this audience is what to enable where to click if you're going to have any questions please reach to me in the reviews under this video i'm going to answer to them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to not miss new videos i'm going to see you there bye